Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down more severe weather that is ahead for the United States over the next 7 to 10 days as an active weather pattern does continue. I'll give you the latest breakdown and everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States right now. We'll begin with the southern plains and that is where showers and storms continue to rumble on across areas like Houston, Texas and we've already seen a lot of severe weather last night back through central and north Texas. Luckily, the threat of severe weather is a little bit lower down in the southern plains today, but there's a big difference back up in the Midwest. We actually have an increased threat for severe weather into the Midwest today for more significant damaging winds, hail, and the threat for a few tornadoes. And you might also notice a huge cluster of storms is moving through areas like the Ohio Valley and back through Tennessee and Kentucky that is all associated with an MCS. We're seeing some showers and storms out there, some of which are producing some some minimal severe weather, but things are really going to ramp up this afternoon and evening across the United States. And this weather pattern is going to continue for the foreseeable future. We have a ton of moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. You'll notice all of this humidity that is across areas like the Midwest, Southern Plains, and even back through the Ohio Valley. And we're going to continue to see rounds of showers and storms across the country for at least the next several days. And I'm not really seeing any sort of dry spell coming into the country, at least for the next seven to 10 days, especially across the Great Plains and then back through the Midwest. Once we get closer to Thursday and to Friday, you'll notice not really any different from today. We still have a lot of moisture, and if anything, it's actually further to the north, which might lead to some potential for some severe weather across areas in the northern Midwest. That's not out of the question with the current setup that we have. And even going into next weekend, things still remain fairly active. There should be some drier weather coming in next week, but we have a full week ahead of severe weather potential across a large chunk of the country you might be wondering is this coming from like an organized upper level disturbance well a lot of the activity that we're seeing is just from initiators like dry lines and some cold frontal boundaries but this is all surface based lows we're not seeing anything in the jet stream that actually is defined in terms of a big severe weather outbreak the next chance for something that's much more organized in terms of severe weather will be next week that is when we have a chance for a negatively tilted trough to start to impact the United States sometime around Wednesday Thursday Friday of next week this this could bring the threat for severe weather across the central plains and maybe even into the northern plains and this will also help to pull more moisture to the north and you'll notice the jet stream is way up here so that'll basically be our boundary of how far north the moisture does go so threat of severe weather will increase again by later in the week and that is when we could have the chance for a severe weather outbreak but again there's nothing that's organized right now other than those lower level disturbances so up in the upper atmosphere we don't have anything organized which means a lot of this activity that we're seeing is just coming from dry lines and again some cold frontal boundaries now for the future radar over the next several days it's going to be very repetitive we're going to be watching for showers and storms across a large chunk of the country by tomorrow more storms rolling through the midwest and back through the southeast once we get into late monday into tuesday more showers and storms in areas like the southern plains and back into the east coast once we go closer to late tuesday into wednesday more showers and storms will really arise across areas in the central and southern plains and eventually by wednesday and thursday that is when a chance for a more organized threat of severe weather may start to escalate and once we go through thursday into friday more showers and storms are expected to continue and again a very active next seven days is ahead across the united states but let's first begin with what's happening today there is in fact an enhanced risk of severe weather for those back over in the midwest and parts of the central plains we also have a marginal threat that extends all the way through areas in north carolina and even tennessee it is a very large area today but a lot of the activity down this direction is what's happening basically as you might be seeing this video and then back down in the southern plains we do have a slight risk of severe weather it's a little bit lower than yesterday i don't anticipate a whole lot of severe weather there it's going to be a little bit on the lower side of things since storms will be a bit more isolated in nature now for the threats today large hail is a big concern especially across areas in iowa and as well as even into northern missouri those areas saw some hailstones upwards of four inches in diameter last night i would not rule out something similar to that happens again tonight and then back over into the southern plains there's a hatched area for some large to very large hail mainly in central and northern central Texas. And then for the damaging wind threat, we could see a few flying trampolines back into areas like Nebraska and into southern Iowa. That is where we have a hatched area. Damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour are possible. And again, we did have a large tornado last night, and I would not rule out an isolated strong tornado in anywhere, basically from southern Iowa back into Nebraska. And if you're in southern Iowa, I think the chance of a potential for a strong tornado is a bit higher. So if you're in those areas, be mindful, have a way to receive alerts and have a tornado action 
game plan in place tonight. I'll show you the timing in just a moment, but real quickly, for tomorrow, the threat of severe weather will be a bit lower. It's going to be more of a morning threat across areas in the Midwest, back through the Mississippi Valley. But if you're back down in the Southern Plains, that risk of severe weather will increase more during the late afternoon and evening hours. That is where a little bit of large hail and damaging wind gusts could be possible. Main concerns for tomorrow is going to be more of a damaging wind threat. Here's your wind threat, pretty much the same as the hail potential right now. But I do anticipate that the damaging wind threat will be a little bit higher across areas in the Midwest in comparison to the hail threat. Now for the tornado risk, it's going to be low tomorrow. It's really going to be very low, if anything. So maybe an isolated brief or weak tornado or two may occur across the southern Midwest and again back maybe through the southwest portions of the Ohio Valley. One of the big reasons why the tornado risk is a bit higher across the Midwest today is because the low level jet, which is what helps to rotate supercells at the lower levels, will be a bit stronger across the Midwest. We'll have a low level jet in kind of a moderate stage around 30 to 40 knots. So if there's any sort of rotating supercells today, that would be why, because we have a stronger low level jet, fairly similar to yesterday. Now for the timing, we'll begin with the Southern Plains tonight. There will be a few showers and storms developing in North Central Texas, back near Abilene, right around five, six, seven o'clock. These storms will move towards the DFW Metroplex, but a lot of those storms will weaken out, might produce some damaging winds. Hail threat will be very low though, once that approaches the Metroplex and then really by the overnight hours, that weakens pretty quickly. Another shot of a couple of storms tomorrow, but it does seem like to be a very low threat at this time. And it seems as if that threat will be closer to central Texas in comparison to North Texas. Now for those in the Midwest, things will be very interesting over the next 48 hours. We're gonna begin with today. Some showers and storms will bubble up back down in Southern Illinois. These will be primarily producing large hail and damaging winds. Tornado risk will be very low in those areas, but notice by the overnight hours tonight, you'll have another round of storms. This is a linear line of storms from an outflow boundary most likely, and we'll watch for the threat most likely of damaging winds. There might be an isolated brief tornado in there, but I would be more concerned about damaging winds overnight tonight. So just make sure again, you bring loose line items inside, hatch down trampolines, do all that sort of stuff tonight before those storms do arrive. Another little shot of severe weather during the afternoon and evening tomorrow. Damaging winds again will be the main concern for most of Illinois over the next 48 hours. Iowa's gonna be much more interesting. We'll have a chance of all modes of severe weather beginning tonight around six to eight o'clock. Some supercell thunderstorms will develop by the overnight hours. A little line of storms will develop and kind of push through areas near Des Moines and Iowa City. That is where again damaging winds is the main concern. Might see some large hail and maybe a brief tornado out of that. But the best chance for a tornado risk will be sometime between about six to ten o'clock tonight. For the timing across the rest of the region, again overnight tonight, that is when that line of storms will push through areas like Illinois and will move down to the south. Might see some storms in Missouri. The greatest threat for severe weather will be on the eastern side of the state. So St. Louis, be mindful, as well as back through areas in northern Missouri. That's where we could see some significant supercells tonight. Now, for the foreseeable future, there is a slight risk of severe weather on Tuesday. We'll be watching this very closely. More details in our next forecast. And then also, we have another chance for severe weather once we head into Thursday. Slight risk of severe weather with that more organized low pressure system by late week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Vents Repair.